This is our game Magic Mouse, which started as an action-adventure game has quickly turned into the roguelike dungeon crawl you see before you now. We tried to capture the feeling of freeform spellcasting by allowing the player to draw spells with their cursor. This was a mechanic we had not seen in many games in this genre, and thus it was a design risk that proved very challenging and took many hours working out different methods. The spellcasting has changed many times over the iterations of the game. Originally there was a mana system, and they could be selected in any combination. The game now, in its current state, uses a charge or ammunition system, and the player now receives their spells as randomly generated rewards in the dungeon. The biggest challenge with our spellcasting was limiting the player's freedom of mouse movement in such a way that it didn't feel restrictive but still balanced out the game. In the end, our spellcasting system has evolved miles from what it started as, and now provides a unique way for players to handle combat. We wanted the player's experience to be different every time he enters any of our floors. We made multiple room prefabs that connect to each other to a scripted random generator that creates a random ranged number of rooms that differ every time the player enters. The difficulty of the enemies and traps increase every floor the player completes. The rooms introduce the players to less threats on the first floor and introduces them to more threats as he goes along. This introduces a learning curve where the player progresses and masters and overcomes different obstacles that get in his way. What I learned from level design is how to make rooms that provide a challenge to the player and really adapt around to the player's abilities, such as putting obstacles in his way or pillars and deciding where to place the enemies that will provide the most challenge. For the development of Magic Mouse, I was responsible for making some of the interactables for the game, which required destructible urns, crates, and barrels, health and charge potions, certain traps, and the spell tutorial windows. During this time, I became better at coding, an area I always seemed to struggle in. Working on Magic Mouse helped me learn new ways to code and overcome obstacles that required out-of-the-box thinking. When I was working on the tutorial windows, I didn't know how to really work the videos in-game. Every time I would plug in a video to the video player, it would stretch it out and take over the full screen. So, to fix this, I thought outside the box and made a PowerPoint slide with the video on it and recorded that slide and placed it into the game, leaving just enough space for me to leave this description of the spell type next to the video. Hello, I'm Nick Rotary. Since the beginning of the production of the game, I have been in charge of the UI. Working with my team, I created the main menu and the HUD of the game. My team made parts of the UI, which then I took over and made better. Through working on this game, I have gained a great deal of experience with the UI and other works in the game. I took on a couple different roles during my time working on our game, Magic Mouse, but I spent a majority of my time working on the prefabs we needed in order to make the rooms for our random dungeon generator. They were all set up in a way in which you could simply snap the pieces together, which streamlined the level creating process and allowed us to make more room variations. Toward the end, I began implementing our art assets into the game. Then once I received the characters from our artists, I started the process of animating them. I feel like there's always more to be learned, especially on this project. However, I did improve upon my pre-existing skills, especially the ones in level design and animations. And while I may not have made as many scripts as everyone else, adding onto and editing other people's scripts has definitely improved my scripting knowledge. All in all, the project has changed quite a bit, but still, for the most part, ended up being the game we always thought it would be. Thanks for watching.